Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Yakuza 6. On the last episode, we opened up the Clan Creator, which is the big new side content, side story minigame available to us. And... This is, what, this is the part where I'm going to try and explain uh, how I'm going to handle this mode, because... I, I swear, I've, been, I've spent like the last 20 minutes trying to piece everything together, so... Hopefully this time it will be cohesive and actually makes sense because there's a lot to go through and um, I want to mention it right now at the start so I don't forget later on. So, first of all, you may have noticed if you played the game before, yes, I've done the tutorial basically telling me how to organize the clan. So there's a whole big organization um, tab right here. And there's like a whole hierarchy system where you can uh, appoint people in charge of other people and it gives them stat boosts. It also went over how uh, when you form your strike team, it, depending on who you bring in, uh, depends also on what soldiers are available to you. And I think that's really cool because that means it, you can't just throw in your strongest people all at once because you have to take into account deployment cost and you have to take into account uh, what soldiers they're going to give you, and, you know, different str soldiers will probably be, be stronger against certain units later down the line. Um, also in between episodes, I decided to do the side missions within the side mission, which is a weird thing to... <laughs> it's a weird thing to say, but basically, uh, the three missions right here, they have no content in terms of story to the side story, if that makes sense. Basically, there were no cutscenes, there were no, you know, um, encounters with the six lunatics. It's basically just to grind and level up your guys, and don't get me wrong, it's a lot of fun, but, uh, I don't feel it's worth showing just because, you know, it's just doing the same gameplay over and over again in different scenarios, which, don't get me wrong, I find it a lot of fun, but, uh, in terms of a viewing experience, you know, for an LP, I seriously don't think it's worth showing. Now, that being said, of course I'm going to show off, um, the actual story portions of this minigame, because we're going to defeat those six lunatics. I mean, I, I think it goes without saying, I'm going to 100% this mode. And uh, we're going to start by doing it right now. You may be wondering why I'm not going into the organization tab uh, to show you how I've set up my soldiers. Well, <laughs> let's just say I got a few surprises in that regard. Anyway, it's time to battle against justice. Yeah. That's my team. Let's move out. やばいっすよ、キリュウさん。ジャスティスメンバーが大勢やってきました。いよいよお出ましになったか。まだそんなに多くはないはずだ。今のうちに叩いちまおう。そうっすね。派手にやっちまいましょう。もうこんなにメンバーが送り込んできてんのかよ。ジャスティスの総メンバー数を考えたらこんなの序の口さ。これも倒せないようじゃ何も始まらない。知ってはいたけど、やっぱりとんでもない相手っすね。ジャスティス
if it comes in regards to special characters, I'm only going to use them when we've met them, if that makes sense. Like, I feel it'll be more fair if we don't use them all at once. Now, for example, we've had the Onomichi sub-story, so I don't feel bad about using Onomichi because, one, it's hilarious, and I love the idea that Onomichi is, like, the mascot of our gang, but also... Uh, it makes sense in context of how far I've gotten through the game so far. Now, of course, these special characters are going to make fights a little bit more easy. There's um, certain different level ranks of special characters, but uh, I feel this will be a nice fun way to just, you know, show off all the different types of characters available in the game. And, you know, I don't want this to be an absolute cakewalk, but I'm not too, you know, annoyed if it turns out to be less of a challenge because I want to have a little bit more fun with the characters available. Hopefully you guys can understand where I'm coming from when I say that. Because look at that! I got an Onomichi in my gang! <laughs> Which doesn't actually make sense because it's implied that Kiryu's inside the costume and he's standing right there. We must have mastered our Shadow Clone Jutsu when no one was watching, but uh, yeah. That's how I'm viewing it so far, and that's how I'm going to deal with the special characters. And believe me, there are a lot of special characters. So look forward to them, I guess. Yasha! <laughs> やっぱり。矢野か。久しぶりじゃねえか、ジョー君よ。こんな田舎町にデモ撮りしちゃって。哀れなもんだね。なんだこいつは。あんたがキリュウとか<笑> ジャスティス六教人の一人、矢野トール。六教人の切り込み隊長と言われてる男です。元々窃盗や詐欺のスペシャリストとして有名だったところ、岡田に引き抜かれたんです。今のジャスティスの軽犯罪担当ってとこです
This will actually be a good time to mention about the special fact that the the um the six lunatics are actually based off uh, New Japan World Wrestling wrestlers, and all six of them. I uh, I believe all six of them are voice acted by the people they're supposed to um, look like. I must admit, I'm not the most well versed in wrestling, but I'm not completely in the dark either. Um, I absorbed a lot of wrestling knowledge from friends and from people I watch, basically just through osmosis. So, I do still know a little bit about uh, New Japan World Wrestling and regular wrestling. Like, if you go to me Scott Steiner, I'll say cha Chainmail. That's like basically my level in terms of um, wrestling knowledge. Let's bring Kiryu in here. Uh, bring you over here, do a spinning lariat. I also know some of the New Japan World Wrestlers in this game. Um, mainly the ones that also appeared in other games. Like, I know, I think it was Okada who also had a special... Um, he had a special thing to do with Tekken 7. Which is, uh, really cool. Actually, wait, maybe it was Nato. I don't know. I love the idea of wrestling mixing with Jap uh, with um, with um, games and anime, just because wrestling is basically wrestling is basically real life anime when you really think about it. Right down to character arcs and motivations. Uh, it's so dumb and great to me. I don't know. Anyway, that wasn't too hard. Okay, Hidenori. So it seems like we got a new, another new guy. Um, looks like we got a few more regular missions to go, so... How about we do one more and see if anything special happens. No, it doesn't seem like it. You know what? I'm cool with showing a few more of the clan's battles um, to start with. Seems like even the story missions are going to have um, fodder to go through, which is fine. I'm perfectly okay with that because... Um, you know what this reminded me of the first time I saw it? And I know some people are going to be like, oh, really? Um, it actually reminded me of the tower defense section of... Um, of um, Assassin's Creed Revelations, of all things. I didn't even mind those tower sections, so, uh, defense sections so much. I know a lot of people didn't like them, but uh, I honestly thought they were okay. I'm not going to say they were great, because they weren't, but I don't know. I've always had a soft spot for um, for um, um, RTS sections in games. Um, it's not very well known on the channel, but... Um, I am actually a massive RTS fan. Um, I played a lot of Age of Empires and Total War back in the day. Still do. Um, but it's just one of those genres I haven't been able to uh, show off too much because of the way those games are played. And they're not great for LPing. They are pretty good for streaming, though. So that's always been in the back of my mind of... Um, Something I would like to cover on my Twitch channel at some point. Gotta shill that out while I still can. <laughs> uh, I jest, of course. Man, look at all our members. So happy. Ah, let me have all those levels. ふふ、なかなか渋といね。やのか。お、覚えててくれて嬉しいね。そう、俺こそが。やのとるまた出たな、キリュさんよ。全然待っていない。おいおいおいおい。まあいいや。今日は最後のご挨拶に来てやった
もうちょいここでのんびりしたいんだけどよ六教人の連中が早くしろってうるせんだよ次に会った時は俺が相手させてもらうその日がお前らの命日だジャスティスの六教人の本気をお前らに見せてやるよ首をきれいに洗って待っとけよバーカ<笑>いよいよ次は矢野が相手ですねああ矢野は強いだが俺たち気流会も確実に強くなってきてる絶対勝ちましょう気流さんはあ矢野徹一筋縄ではいきそうにねえな Yeah, he's certainly a guy who likes the sound of his own voice. He just kept on yap yap yapping away. But, doesn't mean I'm going to underestimate him. Not even for a second. Alright. Our team's going pretty good so far, and there he is Toru Yano of the Six Lunatics. Let's see if we can do this right now. いよいよ矢野との決戦ですね多分今までとは比較にならないほど強いと思います桐生さん気合い入れていきましょうああそれじゃあ行くぞ俺たちの力見せてやろうぜおうよし六強人の一人である矢野を倒せばジャスティスの力をかなり削ることができるそうすればジャスティスを攻める突破口ができるはずだここで勝てればめちゃくちゃ大きい一歩だ絶対勝ちましょう桐生さんああこれ以上あいつに好き放題言わせておくのも尺に触るしなよっしゃお前らウィアーヤノトールーヤノトールーヤノトールーヤノトールーよし気流会出撃だ行くぞおっしゃーおっしゃー And he's got a clan pose and everything? Maybe I should come up with a clan pose. Yo guys, I'm gonna make you watch so many Sentai shows and JoJo. We're gonna get all these poses down. Anyway, uh, no time to think about that right now. Let's bring in a few soldiers, a few gunmen. Um, bring in... Holy shit, but okay, they're actually pretty strong. Need to pay attention to my guys. Need to pay attention to who's available and when. Um, right. Heal off our guys. Let's see if we can... Let's see if we can save up for someone big. Uh, should I bring Kiryu? Actually, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring in Joe. Because I got a rare version of him that I was able to get from one of the special cards, and he's got an ultimate drop kit, which will be extremely helpful, especially right now! God, I wonder if Joe is a wrestler. Like, if he's based on someone in real life. Because. That was a damn good drop kick. And also, I think this is the first time on camera that we're going to see more than one zone. Yep. Everyone clear. Uh, right, let's bring in some heavy dudes. Let's use our essence of healing. And our spinning, uh, and our spinning lariat. Okay, okay, going good. Use the Dragon of Dojima ability. That will give us a offensive increase. Let's get some rushes in. Holy shit, I can't even keep up. I can't even keep up! This- We have so many dudes on the screen! More healing! Heal more! It's fine! Dropkick that guy! Do a spinning lariat. I think that was a little bit too late, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Just heal some more. He can't take on all of us. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
We utterly destroyed him. <laughs> I really like this mode. It's a lot of fun. Good job, everyone. Drinks are on me. The sweet level ups are on me, too. ここは俺たちの大事な街だ。連中連れて出てってくれ。そう簡単に引き下がるわけにはいかねえんだよ。6 up close and personal. Just the way I like it. Come on, guys. Let's take these suckers out. Oh, shit. One of them's got a firearm. We need to take him out as quickly as possible. Uh, you focus on him. I'm going to... Oh, Jesus Christ. There's a little bit of a... Cluster truck. That's a grenade. You stop that right now, buddy! Those things are dangerous. Which is precisely why... I'm gonna... Whack you in the face with a grenade. Holy shit. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. Extremely dangerous. And that probably should have killed him, but uh, still cool nonetheless. on these guys. Oh god. Uh, you'll be fine for a second. Don't worry, buddy. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take out this big guy. Jesus, man. You can sure take pounding. Not my best choice of words. Alright. Big guy taken care of. Come on, Joe. I could have sworn there was a team-up mode with that we could have done. In heat mode. Maybe it's only in heat mode. Oh god. Oh shit! That was really cool. Was that move based on the the the, this, the wrestler, like this guy, one of his moves? Because if that's the case, that's actually really cool. Also, I'm really trying to get these team up heat moves, but uh, it is uh, not happening. So I'm going to assume I can't do it. At least not right now. Yeah! Damn it! Do it, Joe! Nice punch, Joe. Knew I could count on you. つえ、信じらんねえ。やったー。あの6教人の一人、矢野を倒しましたよ。ああ。これでジャスティスもちょっとは焦るだろう。矢野がやられた程度で、俺たちが焦るかよ。むしろ焦ってるのはお前の方だろ、ジョー。お前はジョー。トランキーロ。焦んなよ。六教人の一人、ナイト。岡田に並ぶ実力者です。まさか尾道にナイトが投入されるなんて。投入？おいおい。誰
ピーンと来たよ改めまして内藤だブエナスノーチェス桐生さんふっノリの悪いおっさんだなあんたにはいろんな伝説があるよなそれを聞くたびに虫図が走ったよ俺はあんたやジョーみたいなまっすぐで正義の味方ぶってるやつが大っ嫌いなんだよやるのかへっ桐生さんトランキーロあっせんなよあんた一応矢野と戦った後だろ万全じゃないあんたを倒してもつまんねえよあんたの仲間全員ぶっ潰してそれからじっくりあんたとやらせてもらうよじゃあなおいあんそこにお前の仲間が倒れてる連れて帰れ<笑>こんなやつもともと仲間じゃねえよそれに負け犬は六強人には不要だテイクアウトする価値もねえいっそのこととどめでもさしてやろうか<笑>てめえナイトやめとけナイト<笑>相変わらずだなジョーお前も岡田もそういうところがいけすかねえんだ桐生だけじゃねえてめえもじっくりいたぶってホームってやるナイトかまさか桐生さんがそんな有名なヤクザだったなんて過去の話だでも会長だったんですよね道理でチームまとめるのもうまいと思いましたよ俺たちは桐生さんを信用してるし過去がどうだろうと気にしないよむしろそんな人が近くにいるってのは心強いいろいろ勉強させてもらうよそんな大層なもんじゃない俺が教えられることなんてねえよそんなことねえってもっと自分に自信持てよ桐生ちゃんいいんですか本当にこいつ仲間に入れて俺は別に構わん本人も心を入れ替えるって言ってるしねおうよジャスティスなんて最低だぜ俺は拳を交える中で桐生ちゃんに惚れたんだよねこれからお世話になるわよろしく調子のいいやつだなまあでもこいつの強さは本物だ内藤を倒すにはこっちの戦力も増やさねえとな任せとけって正直俺もあんな風に切り捨てられたチームに未練はねあるのは恨みだけだ俺にもプライドがあるからよジャスティス潰し協力させてもらうぜああよろしく頼むへへへ矢野徹に任せとけよ次の相手の内藤は今まで以上のメンバーを率いてるって噂ですあいつが率いてる連中は俺の仲間のガキンチョどもとはちょっと質が違うまあ注意した方がいいぜ準備しっかりしていかねえときついかもなわかった And now we got access to Toru Yano And also y Yoshikawa Who I'm guessing was his right hand man But yeah He's definitely bonkers but uh They aren't called the six lunatics for being sane Anyway, I think that's actually going to be it for this episode. But before we actually finish off this episode, this will be a good chance to show off the clan creator, because uh, this was the thing I was trying to hide from you guys, you know, with the um, characters that we got available to us. Now, you may notice down here we have a bunch of fun options, which uh, I'm just going to scroll through very quickly. Oh yeah, look at all those fun options that we're not going to use immediately. Now, of course, as our, um, as our hierarchy grows, I'll be able to use more people. And now that we have Toru, I don't feel bad about using his card, which is somewhere around here. Uh, yeah, right here, the rare version. Um, obviously rare, super rare, super, super rare versions of cards are way more powerful. And I might not use them depending on how good they are, just to, you know, make sure I have somewhat of a challenge, even though the first uh, lunatic was a little bit of a cakewalk. Well, not too much so. It's not like I didn't have to think or, you know, turn my brain off or anything. 
Um, it does also look like we've already a quarter done with the um, total missions, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner there, so that'll be a good thing to keep track of. But, yeah. This is basically what it looks like. And actually reminds me... There's something else I can show off. Right here, network! <laughs> or at least network after I uh, scroll through these... Uh, these uh, terms and conditions. Yeah, mm-hmm. Gotta get, gotta get to the end. This is some good terms and conditions. Yep, I am totally reading all of these. Really important things that I probably should be reading and everyone should read and whatever. We're, we're very lazy people. But uh, yeah, you can actually bring on, you can bring your clan online and gain player ranks and have this going on in the background during, um, during while you play the game. Which, uh, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's a nice extra added thing just to keep on using the clan creator. Uh, for the purposes of this playthrough, of course, I'm not going to do this too much, but uh, it's always something to keep in mind, and who knows? If there are particular raids that people have, or like particular groups that, and you know, we can send um, each other fight requests, then that might be fun to do. But uh, I at least wanted to point it out. Battle against other clans online, yep, set up the defense force, play missions available only for a limited time. Yeah, seems like we can play some special events. Very cool. Alright, now let's actually end off the episode. So, on the next episode of Let's Play Yakuza 6, we're not going to go to Kyo-chan quite yet. We've still got a few more side activities that I want to get done in Onomichi. So we'll be sure to get them done. If you like this episode, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that's fun junk, and I will see you guys next time.